questions, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fist of Fury 6092, and you've probably got some tons of questions right now saying to yourself, huh? Will the tanks Legos? Is there a new tank that came out? I don't see it in the stores when I go on console. It's like literally you mentioned this, like, is this something we get in the Irish thing, crates thing that updated? No. It's not like that at all, audience. Honestly, no. That's just digital stuff. So you're probably wondering now what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to have to explain real quick before we begin with this video. Apparently, World of Tanks not only has a marketing to, you know, TVs and PCs and digital form, they also had contracts with different companies to sell their products. Now, some of these products we know is like T-shirts and stuff like that. But they also tried with kids' toys. And we're going to look at one of them today. And as you can tell on the thing, we're going to look at the very first ever Lego review on this. And we're going to start off with something I would have died for as a kid. When back in the old days, if I was young. And that tank is the World of Tanks mouse. You are not, like, scratching your eyes. You're not seeing things, audience. And even if you're high right now, you're not hallucinating. There's the company's logo. World of Tanks. Literally, they made a Lego picking mouse tank. This, this is fucking cool. I mean, to me, is it thing is cool, but is it really worth the money sometimes? I mean, this was a gift for me from my sister, which I will thank her. Thank you, Melissa, if you're watching this video. And... Let's talk about it a little bit before we open this up and start building this with a fast editing thing. First and foremost, this is like, there's a lot of things to talk about this one. Obviously, the company who made this, if you can't really see it on the camera, is C-O-B-I. It's that little beautiful sunset thing, here I'll show it a little closer, that makes these tanks. Now, I don't know how Wargaming made a deal like this, but then again, with the amount of money... People pay for premium tanks and all this other stuff. I believe like they can easily like this was probably a good marketing idea for collectors. And look at that beautiful mouse. And let me show it close to you, audience. Look at that beautiful mouse. Isn't that a world sexy Lego tank for a few guys? I mean, seriously, this is incredible. Although I don't like the fact that it comes with an SS guy. It's just very SS. Just like, <laughs> but it, it don't matter. But they also made a lot of historian tanks, too, from the COBI. Now, I don't know much about their history because I haven't looked into it. I might do it in the next video if you guys enjoy this video. Now, what this Lego box contains is 890 pieces. Holy crap, that's a lot of pieces. Usually, most Legos come, like, I built, like, TIE Fighters. Like, here, I'll show you an example real quick, audience. Like this one, like this little buddy right here, this little TIE fighter, comes with only, like, pretty much 150 pieces. So you can imagine, there's a lot of pieces on here compared to, you know, this is yours truly little TIE fighter I have that my friends and I collect. So, and it also comes with the one dude, which is obviously the SS, and it shows it right down the band bottom. And then this is the Penza 8th mouse, even though... It, it's like one of those design tanks. Sorry, I have gas over, so if you hear that, my bad. So, let's look at the back real quick. This is, they got a little description here. I'll show it up to the screen as close as I can to show you. Sorry about the lighting on the PC, because that's my camera right now. Obviously, it makes sense. This tank was made in 1944. Price of age and origin, obviously Germany. And you got... Super heavy tank type. Um, weight, 188 tons. I mean, you know, tons. And then you got the, one hundred, you know, 414, 469 LB. So this thing's heavy, but what do you expect? Because, I mean, look at that little yellow dude up there. That's, that's how we're predicting the tank. Now, if you want an actual scale of it, they usually come with a, like, that's the size of the Lego guy. This, oh, sorry guys, my camera went down for a minute my bad this is how big the lego guy is now 
That's what the tank's going to look like when it comes out. It's going to be the size of my palm of the Lego goods, but this is going to take like a full two hands to hold this thing. So this is going to be a big tank to build. So don't worry, audience. I will be speeding it up once we get to the building process. So got the weight. You got the armaments of 220 millimeters. Well, obviously, it's not going to give you the actual armor. Dear God, if that was the case, you'd be like, <laughs> yeah, it, it won't. It's not that heavy, audience. I mean, you can lift it up with one hand, for goodness sakes. It's not It's not like actual steel Legos. I mean, it's just showing a description of the tank itself. <laughs> that would be funny, though. It's like, Mom, can I have this? <laughs> just something like that. All right. So where was I? Armament type. And then you got the 120... 8 centimeter gun, well they got that right for description because you got the long huge barrel here. And let's see. Then you got the engine, you got the Drama Belizen M50-150-120 hit points. Now, I know that's a word like a roll right off your tongue for anyone, even for a German like me. Then you got speed, 20 kilometers, and crew of six, even though that's lie on the box if you were going by, because you only get one commander. The rest of the crew must be inside the tank. Now, going to the top, here's the thing up here. If you can't see it, I'll show it a little bit better, or I'll tell you. For the length of the thing is 38.5 kilometers, pretty much 5.1. That's pretty dang long in height is 12.5 kilometers of 4.9 of height so this is going to be a tall boy so that being said one more thing i have to discuss real quick before we get to the opening i apologize for this but we'll get to right to the good stuff in a minute in-game bonus code war gaming also put a bonus code for these types of games so you get like three days of premium here large repair kit and some chocolates now this is a kind of a disappointment, Wargaming, because I have the Jagdpanzer E100, and that gives you a Tier 3 premium tank. Why can't this? They're the same price. That one is $55. This one is $55. So, you get scanned more with the mouse than you do with the Jagdpanzer E100 up there. So, if you're looking for more extra bonus code, I would go with the Jagdpanzer E100, but I know a lot of you guys would probably want the mouse since the mouse is an iconic German tank, so it makes sense. So let's let's just stop with the nitty gritty. Let's open it up and show you what it looks like from an overhead view since I have to point the camera downwards. Be back in a few. Also, if you're a kid, you need the scissors to open this up since there's tape. So you kids out there, don't run around with scissors or unless you're like an idiot like me that flings them around all over the place and goes Alright audience, let's open this up. Right, audience i just opened up the box i dumped it out so this is basically what we're getting at. so you get these lovely bags here that has numbers on them like level you know one two three and so on and so forth you get four bags i like this because when i was a kid i had to open up the bags and they never labeled them so you literally had to guess on what to do so i'm kind of grateful for that so that's the bag we're going to be opening up this also comes with these four pieces here so they can take it apart, but I'm guessing this is the length of the mouse. So you can already tell how big this thing's going to be. Putting these together like this, this is going to be like this, like bigger than my hand. Hang on. Let me show like a better. If I put them all together, this is my hand. And my hand's pretty big in real life. So three hands covered up this, and it's going to be a fourth one here. So it's going to be a pretty big tank if you're looking at that audience. Plus, we got the booklet. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you the back of it because obviously... The back of it has the codes so this is going to be a very interesting video this is my first time doing it but don't worry audience i'm going to be speeding it up as soon as i get the legos all situated and organized i will start building it and then i will show you how exactly i'm doing and i will pause it every time i open up a new bag to show you the progress so enjoy the video enjoy the music and it, this is already going to be a nightmare for me oh also we're starting this, so in case you're wondering how long this is going to take, we are starting this at 5.20 right now. So, here we go. Was ist des deutschen Vaterland? Ist Preußenland, ist Schwabenland, 
is starting to look nice. I'm getting the wheels on it now, as you can tell. I don't know how the rubber is going to make the tracks move, but we can try it. See how it turns out when we actually get the tracks on it. And it's starting to come along pretty nice, as you can already tell. It takes two hands to hold this damn thing. This thing is humongously big. And would you? And it's like, rightfully so, since it is a mouse. So we got the front part of the mouse and the back part coming along very nicely. But now, on to part three. So, see you in the bit next one. Oh boy, guys, this took a little longer because basically, well, I had a lot of pieces wrong and it's getting late, as you can kind of tell. It's dark outside now, and now it's 8 o'clock or 8.05, pretty much to 8.06. So, yeah, I've been building this for so long, but we're making good progress. We got the whole of the tank, it looks like, done. Got a little problem with the tracks, though, in my opinion, but I'll get to the ending to show you off my personal rating on it, but it's like sounds pretty good i'm assuming this is going to be the turret when it's done but we'll have to see and well i know it's going to be the turret so let's get started building the last final part and then i'll conclude with my ending <laughs>
Boy, you can tell right now it's night time. I mean, if you want the final thing of being done building it, I just got done. It's like five minutes to nine. Just, oh no, five minutes past nine, sorry. I'm looking on screen and it's the opposite when it's literally, you know. So, I started this at 520 and ended at that. Oh, you have no idea how it is. I had the camera there standing up in an arc angle trying to build the tank showing you it but what did you think well here's the finished project as you already tell this thing is massively big i mean holy crap like i said it's, it's a big it's a big boy it's a big boy and like i said you're showing the comparison this is my tiger and like putting them neck to neck like that it, it, it it's pretty damn big so, whew, I wish I could talk because of my pain in my back. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. Um, what do I think about all this? Well, there's some couple of things I like about the tank. One, it's unique track system that I was going to talk about. The track system is really not that bad. I mean, like I said, it can move pretty damn good and you can hear it. See, you can hear it close. It actually sounds like a moving tank, which I actually like that. Also, you got the rotating turret. Although, I'm not a big fan of the... Whoops, I'm losing the gas tanks. Yeah, there's some parts that are extremely weak, and I had to take some parts off. Like, when basically, when I did the... Um, you saw it in the video, and if you saw it fast enough, I had to take some parts out of this part, because the piece that's supposed to go in there to hold it together, it didn't work, because the tracks were blocking that piece inside, so I had to remove it to basically make it work. But it's, in all honesty, it turned out pretty good. And he came with, there's the SS officer sitting on top. So, if I take him out real quick, I'll show you, like, 
and put them somewhere on here. See? Yeah, this is a pretty big tank. I mean, these guys are not exactly tiny. They're like the same size as a normal Lego guy. So, they're pretty balanced. Whoops, I'm losing the SS. Well, actually, we don't need them. <laughs> That's a good thing. Um, I, me, personally, I like the tank. The only thing... There's a couple of things I don't like about it. First of all, most gas tanks, they are extremely easy to break off. Like, literally, you can just tap it like this, and it will break off. So, I mean, I guess you don't have to have it. It's supposed to be for decorations. Like, you can have a gas tank there, or like in World Tanks, you can have it removed. Stuff like that. But it's a little bit too weak, in my opinion. And if kids play this, they're going to, like, lose it a lot. So, keep in mind that that's very weak if you buy this. Um... I mean, there's got a lot of good opening apartments. It's the head tur tur turns wicked too slickery. Like, this turns really slickery. I could see this in, like, movies and stuff where people could take, like, an invisible string and just make it turn a little bit. Not bad. Um, it's got a couple opening apartments. Got some tools. Um, but that's mostly it. It's a big, huge tank that um, people could play with. And for the resources, well, I can't really show you it because I can show you the booklet a little bit. Hang on. It's right over here. Yeah, I went through literally, there's a total of 90 pages. And that was what got me confused because if you look at the pages like this, some of it is really fucking confusing because you have to do counting and stuff like that. So unless you're not a very good builder, like sometimes I'm not, I admit it it's going to be very hard to understand some of this stuff in this booklet. Um, but in all in all, not a bad thing. I mean, I can't show you the back of the book because of the whole thing. Um, but we do have, like, they make a lot of tanks. So if you're like a Lego collector and you like some of the tanks in World of Tanks, like the Jagdpanzer 100 or the IS-7, they're in there as well. You can also have the, you know, Chief Den, the other ones. I'm not trying to sponsor them. I actually like it. They put a lot of detail, and that's what I have to give credit to these tank people from the uh, COBI. Uh, Sorry, I had to look it up again. But really good at detail. I like it. I mean, for kids, I, they would enjoy it. For models that people like for Legos, I would recommend it. For 55 bucks though, um... I like it. It's like it has its value. Don't get me wrong. Look at this. I mean, this is my hand. And like I told you, my hand is not that tiny in real life. So you can kind of see where this is a pretty hefty Lego set. So not really bad for its price. But again, it's for 55 bucks plus the additional reward. The Yagpants 100 gives you a tier 3. And hang on, let me show you that real quick. So yeah. Almost lost it. Fix the gun barrel. That's an. I'll reveal this another day, and I don't. I, I'll just have a pre-build, so you don't have to watch the whole building cycle. If you don't guys like it, you just leave it in the comments. But yeah, this is the Agpanzer U100. So basically, they're the same length of one another if you own one another. But the only difference is this reward is only like 55 bucks on Amazon or any other place besides its own website. It's got a little bit more, but. You get a three tier three in uh, World of Tanks for this book. So compared to this one, to that one, to the mouse and stuff, I say you get more value buying this if you want to have a free tank on PC. Compared to this, that just gives you the same reward, three days of premium, a couple of things, but there's no tank for this one. There's a tank for this one. So my final verdict for collectors, it is a beautiful, like for any LEGO collector or kid who wants to play this, I would give it probably an 8 out of 10. It's beautifully crafted, well done, um, tracks moves very easily on hard and soft terrain, which is really good because, again, there are some tanks like the LEGO Sherman I have over there, I'll review another day, doesn't move worth a shit. Um, but here you can actually have it where decent enough to um have as a collector model looks amazing um some things i don't like about it like the gas thing it gets very weak and some of the lego pieces were very hard for me to understand so it took even longer so to be fair not bad 
I give it that. So thank you all so much for watching. I think I'm going to take a nap now because it took too long than I think. It's not going to take long for you guys because I'm going to edit it. But to me, way long. So thank you all so much for joining. And I think I'm going to play with this for a while. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye.